Here we go with our formal presentation. So now, good evening and welcome to the graduation of St. Mary's College High School. I'm Brother Kenneth. Some of you know me, some of you do not, but by afterwards you will. I'm your Master of Ceremonies. In a few moments, the class of 2019, the faculty, the Board of Trustees, and the administration of St. Mary's will soon process into this theater with you. But before they do, I would like to once again underscore the manner in which we celebrate commencement here. What I've already spoken to you about. So also I would like to ask that you would please take a moment to put turn off or silence any phones, electronic devices that might go off and spoil this for you or for somebody else. If you turn off cell phones, etc., electronics, that would be great. The inherent quality that uh, marks our graduation exercises are those of dignity and honor. Our graduation is a formal one. As such, we ask everyone respect every aspect of the program, as I'm sure you will. Such respect is shown by appropriate applause when called for, and out of respect for each member of the graduating class, and as I underscored previously, each person's name needs to be properly heard, so please keep the applause appropriate. The faculty, board of trustees, and administration are attired in their traditional academic regalia. In the commencement program, you'll see a description of these distinctive garments and what the colors and styles signify. You can find them in the program. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated as we begin the commencement exercises and welcome the St. Mary's College High School Class of 2019.
begin the ceremony, the members of the class of 2019 will lead us in prayer. Let us remember. We are gathered here for a final time as a school community, as one family. We come together to celebrate the successful completion by the class of 2019 of four years at St. Mary's College High School. We assemble today in celebration, recognizing that we are called to move forward continually on our journey in faith, in hope, and in love. A reading from the letter of Pope Francis addressed to the young people around the world. I wanted you, young people, to be the center of attention because you are in my heart. I am reminded the words which God spoke to Abraham. Go from your country and your family to the land that I wish to show you. These words are now also addressed to you. They are words of a father who invites you to go, to set out towards a future which is unknown, but one which is surely lead to fulfillment a future in which God himself accompanies you. I invite you to hear God's voice resounding in your heart through the breath of the Holy Spirit. A better world could be built as a result of your efforts, your desire to change, and your generosity. Do not be afraid to listen to the Spirit who proposes bold choices. Do not delay when your conscience asks you to take risks in the following master. Jesus looks at you and invites you to go with him. Even when journey is uncertain and you fall, God, rich in mercy, will extend his hand to pick you up, saying, do not be afraid, because I am with you. O oh God of eternal love, who sent your own son Jesus to show us how to love, and who gave us our home here at St. Mary's College High School, May we be blessed by every experience we have had on our campus, and may we realize that you call us to make a difference in this world, to bring into reality the, your vision of your kingdom. Strengthen us with your love and wisdom that we each may be examples of our Lassain Catholic tradition, having a deep respect for every person we meet, celebrating your gift of inclusive love, deepening our thinking and sharing of knowledge, remaining in solidarity with the poor and marginalized, and believing in your living presence, O God. We ask all of this through your Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. St. John Baptist de La Salle, live Jesus in our hearts. It is my pleasure to invite to the podium Mr. Lawrence Pluck, Puck, class of 1978 and president of St. Mary's College High School, Mr. Puck. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we gather in celebration of the 156th graduating class of St. Mary's College High School, the class of 2019. As I look at all of you sitting in front of me, it brings me back to 2015 when my role as St. Mary's was that of the admissions director. The job of admissions has its challenges, but the joy of the position was meeting each of you as eighth graders and seeing all of your eyes filled with wonder, curiosity, and the eagerness and desire to begin your high school journey. 
Now after four years, I look at your faces as you begin the journey of exploration and discovery as adults, where you will continue to define who you are as a person and how you are going to share the gifts of yourself and your talents with the world. All of you will continue to learn in universities and colleges throughout the country, as well as your interactions with people from all walks of life whose opinions and beliefs may not be like your own. From these interactions, you will confirm what you may already know. The world does not see itself through the lenses of Berkeley and the Bay Area. Your family, Dr. Imperial, and all of us on this stage and in this auditorium love you and want to give you a lot of advice and wisdom. I am no exception. So here it is. Always remember, the success of your life path and direction should not be measured by comments from thousands on social media or whether you are followed or liked by thousands of people you really do not know. Remember to feel good about your success based on what is in your heart and many lives you will personally have an effect on throughout your lives. Many mistakes are ahead of you. Learn from your mistakes. Forgive yourself. Do the best you can to correct the mistake and continue on with your life dreams. Remain competitive, but at the same time, show people random acts of kindness. Listen to people. Listen with curiosity empathy and compassion. Stand strong and be proud of who you are. Also, always remember that you are people of God and do not be afraid or hesitate to share your gifts of kindness and the love for those people in your lives and those in this country and the world who are in most need. Do not forget to say thank you and show your appreciation. For example, your family. Tonight, in this Zellerbach Auditorium, is filled with people who love you and have always been there for you and will always be here for you. Now it's my time to say thank you. In my life journey, I have always been appreciative and thankful for those who support and believe in St. Mary's and her mission. Parents, family, and friends, on behalf of St. Mary's, I want to thank you. Thank you for the gift of your children that you have entrusted to our care. Thank you for being there, not only for your child, but for all the students at St. Mary's. Thank you for your support of our work and mission. We could not do this work without you. God, God bless you all. Seniors, let's hear it for your parents. Let's give it a few Also, know that there are people you don't even know who have their arms spiritually wrapped around you, who care for you and all the students at St. Mary's. I always want to thank and pray for our donors and those alumni who are Panthers for Life and support the mission of the Christian Brothers and the work in living the LaSalle mission in 2019. Class of 2019, on this stage are others who I want to thank. To the side of me are the members of the Board of Trustees who so deeply believe in the LaSalle mission and St. Mary's College High School that they volunteered their time to ensure that St. Mary's is living true to its mission and its LaSallean core principles. Their passion for St. Mary's inspires me, and I could not do my job without their incredible leadership and support. Thank you, St. Mary's Board of Trustees.
The word community is tossed around a lot, but it is an important one for me. Community does not mean everyone always agrees, and there are going to be moments of frustration and strong difference of opinions and approach. I view a community as a group of people who come together for a common cause. The faculty and staff of St. Mary's, as different as each one of us are, come together as a community of LaSalle and educators for the purpose of teaching and caring about you. I would not want to do my job as president without these amazing team of people on this stage. Each person on this stage brings a special gift to Peralta Park. Their teaching, coaching, advising, performing, praying with you is their professional life journey that they have chosen. Also, you may know, on a different note, that there are actually two presidents on the St. Mary's campus. At this time, I would ask that the student body president of St. Mary's, Jasmine Newsom, come forward and share a message to our faculty and staff. To the faculty and staff of St. Mary's, on behalf of the class of 2019 and all of the students, I would like to thank all of you for all you have taught us during our time here. True learning occurs in your presence. As students, we have had the chance to bond with you in, a, in unique ways and with many experiences. We've created memories in class, on the field, during retreat, through the arts, during Lasallian days, and over enrichment week. These experiences, each of us will remember. St. Mary's is not simply a high school, but instead a community, a family, that we will all cherish forever. Seniors, let's hear for the faculty, please. <laughs> Finally, today the world is honoring the many, many soldiers during World War II who landed in Normandy, France 75 years ago. Thank you to all those soldiers who fought for hope in the world. On behalf of my pal Jasmine and I, God bless you all and may God's presence be with all of you. Live Jesus in our hearts. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Puck. Right now, it's my pleasure to invite to the podium Dr. Peter Imperial, principal of St. Mary's College High School, Dr. Imperial. Good evening, everybody. First things first, seniors, congratulations. We are done telling you what to do, almost. Um, before I talk about you, moms and dads, congratulations. Um, I, I can barely see you there, but I know I see you all. You, you've done remarkable work. I want to tell you, give you a little window on the prom. Two weeks ago, we had on a Sunday night, it is not the prom that you and I attended. First of all, the boys don't wear socks anymore with their slacks. And the slacks don't reach low enough to the pants. <laughs> but they were cool looking. On the dance floor, I mean this now, this is how it went. The boys gradually gather in the middle of the dance floor and do this. <laughs> and the girls, who by the way look absolutely fabulous, are on the fringe not insulted, just kind of doing that, that sway thing. And it went on all night. It looked like a Dothraki battle preparation. <laughs> it's 
speaking of the Dothraki, last year, 163 babies were born in this country and named Daenerys. 560 babies were named Khaleesi, and 2,545 babies were named Arya, making it the 119th most popular name in the country. Raise your hand if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. You good? This is our country today. Angry at the end of a TV series about flying dragons, zombies, and the Night King. Um, just as a sidebar, sorry, I'm going off track. I still don't understand who the Night King was and why he existed in this show at all. It's some white guy with devil's horns running around talking about going to war a lot. Wait a minute. Okay, now, a quarter of my faculty won't talk to me anymore. About this class, let me tell you. I've taught 25 of you in Islamic history. I've traveled the world, the Mediterranean, Morocco, with about 26 of you. I still don't know you as well as I would like to, but I do know a few things about you, and moms and dads, I would like to share what I have observed. Now, when I was teaching Islamic history, it was free, open seating. Seniors could sit where they want, and naturally, every kid sat in the same seat every day for all 12 weeks. In the very back were Flynn Cooper, Max Emerling, Ayal Kariv, and Lydia Storella. I like to start every class with jokes. I like to warm them up. I was a particular fan of Henny Youngman, the old Borscht Belt comedian. If you don't know who it is, he told jokes like this. My wife and I were happy for 20 years, then we met. <laughs> my best friend ran away with my wife, and let me tell you, I miss him. It's not original stuff, mind you. Not, I don't get credit for this. And no matter how funny these jokes were, and they were funny. Doctor, I broke my leg in two places. He said, don't go to those places. <laughs> those four kids sat like this. <laughs> and it became a fixation on my part. Flynn would occasionally go like this. <laughs> and, and I all would, you could see him out there going, that's not funny. But they weren't the only characters. I know among you, students, the student among you who is going to climb to the greatest heights of all is Nick Lozica. <laughs> Nick is a competitive rock climber and will be competing in championships in Montreal this week. And I mean, it's crazy stuff. Um, I've got a series of bests here, so the, the best don't mess with me look in the class belongs to Candace Lewis. <laughs> the best hair, and here was the competition, Jack Adamson, Matthew LaFlame, Francesca Levet, Harlan Johnson, and Sophie Klein, but the winner was Taj Castaneda for best hair. <laughs> the student I yelled at the most, but liked the most at the same time, Blake White. You will not find more talented artists, singers, than Leave Colum, Gabby Rincon on the guitar, and Mitchell Heckman on the vibraphone. <laughs> In my class was uh, Julian Ishi Lusk. Uh, Julian seems to be a mild-mannered young man. He is a brilliant artist. His art now hangs near the Monterey Gate. And so I will remember him every day, but I should tell you that Julian Ishi Lusk is kind of like an assassin in class. Now, we were studying the assassins. They, they came out of the mountains and they, 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 they killed the Abbasid rulers because they didn't like the, their wealth and ostentatiousness. Julian would just stare at you like, you're not very good at what you do. <laughs> and I would continue to threaten him and he'd go, senior, what are you gonna do? <laughs> and speaking of assassins, um, it's come to our attention through Ms. Gonzalez and Mr. Quatz that um, 
you guys, a, a group of you, play a game called something like Assassin. And Gavin Zirkel is apparently the last surviving member of his unit. His mom reported to Ms. Gonzalez that Gavin has been sleeping in different locations for the last week, like Al Capone's tax accountant before the trial. <laughs> Gavin? Gavin, if you make it to your diploma tonight, if you make it past that guy, you're going to have to contend with us. Um, anyway, moms and dads, it has been a pleasure teaching your kids. Uh, it is hard raising kids these days. It's always been hard. Um, you should feel very proud of yourselves. These, this class, I was just talking with a couple of teachers uh, about what they were like, and it seemed like they really liked each other, and they were easy going. And that is a quality that you can't continue your whole life. Quickly, I have advice. I had 23 pieces of advice, and I've reduced it to 19. <laughs> Number one, please learn to sign your name legibly. Penmanship is important. Two, stretch. Stretch. Three, your belt should always match your shoe color. Four, quit spending so much damn money, save some, you're gonna need it later. At the same time, when you are tipping, learn to be a heavy tipper. Usually those people work hard and don't make a lot of money, and if you tip heavy, you'll get better service. Next one is words matter. Now let me tell you a story about this. When my daughter was in the first grade at a little cute little Catholic school over in Marin County, it was show and tell time. And we were supposed to be talking about her family, so when her turn came, she came up to the front of the class and said, my mother is a prostitute. <laughs> what she meant to say was, my mother is a Protestant. When my Irish Catholic mother heard this story, she said that not so very long ago in Ireland, the only thing worse than being a prostitute was being a Protestant. <laughs> if you ever have to go to the emergency room, I mean this now, I mean this, you ask for an itemized bill and you challenge every single crazy item on that bill. I did that with my own emergency room. The same year, I, I bought a rug in Tangier, Morocco with the kids. It was infinitely more honest dealing with the Moroccan rug merchants than it was with the American healthcare system. Uh, Mr. Buck mentioned that today is, is, is D-Day, commemoration. And on this day, in a 24-hour period, 4,400 American, Canadian, and Englishmen died on the beaches of Normandy. We tend to forget that. I often say when I'm really in a bad mood about vanity or stupid ideas, I hear that we need a war. Now that is a ridiculous thing to say, of course, because we don't, but war does tend to clarify a few things. Um, don't forget that those boys and young men died and didn't get a future. So if maybe you don't get the grade you wanted in your next first freshman year class, it's not the end of the world. There's much more tougher things to fight for. Speaking of Canadians, I think Canadians are very nice, but if the Raptors win this series, I expect Mr. Trump to tear up the living hell out of them. <laughs> the earthquake is coming. Always carry a $50 bill in your wallet, and don't touch it, and never let your gas tank go below 3 eighths of a tank, because all the electricity is going to be out, and you can't use the ATM machines. Now, if you're young, make it a $10 bill but don't expect there to be gasoline for you or cash. I'm almost done now. This one's important. Quit going to superhero movies. <laughs> Stop it. 
That's all that's left. I would like to see a movie with a plot, maybe a romantic comedy, something like that. No dragons anymore. When you're driving, get out of the fast lane, okay? It's the fast lane for the fast drivers. Move over. Don't ever wear Crocs. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> My dad used to say that if you want to keep a secret, don't tell anybody. So in the world of Instagram, Snapchat, and everything else, please heed this advice. What seems like a great idea when you're 19 and on spring break will seem like a bad idea at your law school interview. <laughs> it really is nice to put up what you had for lunch more than some crazy nude selfie with a camel on the coast of Morocco. <laughs> There's a new book out about Robert Johnson, the blues guitarist, the man who supposedly made a deal with the devil for his talent, which he didn't do, of course, he practiced. And his motto is some version of listen a lot, steal good ideas, and practice, practice, practice. That's how you get ahead in life. Persistence and practice is much more important than talent most of the time. Finally, congratulations on the schools you're going to. Most all of you are going to college, not all of you are, and that doesn't mean, that's not a bad thing to not go to college. You should not go if you do not have a passion for learning. And it does not matter to us whether you go to community college or some other named school. I hope it fits you. Please do remember that school does not determine your destiny. This was just high school, and the next stage is just college. And late bloomers usually do better than people who did great in the eighth grade and won a spelling bee because they had a coach. <laughs> On behalf of the faculty and staff, we want to thank you for the privilege of teaching your children. Class of 2019, it has been an absolute ball. We will miss you. Good luck. Please don't let me use this. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. I'm not done yet. I'm going, you went off the script. Henny Youngman? So a guy comes up to the door the other day, and I answer the door. He says, I'm hungry. Can you give me something to eat? I said, yeah. Can you eat yesterday's soup? He said, sure. I said, come back tomorrow. <laughs> but that's it. Thank you, Dr. Imperial, whatever it was that you said. <laughs> Each year, a student is chosen from among the graduates to deliver the valedictory address. The graduate is chosen based on achievement and how they have lived out the core principles of Lasallian education. The valedictory address is meant to inspire the graduating class as they turn toward the future to reach for higher ideals and put what they have learned at St. Mary's into action in their lives. Yenny Lee has been chosen as valedictorian, and ladies and gentlemen, it pleases me to introduce for her address, Miss Yenny Lee. Good evening, St. Mary's, Board of Trustees, Mr. Puck, administration, faculty, parents, and the class of 2019. 1,376 days of wondering, wondering what this day would be like what it would feel like to sit in the front seats of Zellerbach Hall with mortarboards placed on our heads, how we would walk across the stage without tripping over our own two feet. Today marks the culmination of our journey towards graduation. 
Long gone are the days of collecting Beanie Babies and reading Where the Sidewalk Ends, keeping a watchful eye on our Tamagotchis and jamming out to I Want It That Way while a parent drives us to a friend gathering at Bay Street, Emeryville. We now also fit, bear, bid farewell to SATs and ACTs, Princeton Review versus Kaplan, A Block AP Review Sessions, avoiding Mr. Banks on days when we were out of dress code, and what sometimes seemed like endless schoolwork. For the past four years, St. Mary's has been our home. We are deeply grateful for a school that values respect for all persons, quality, education, concern for the poor and social justice, and faith in the presence of God. Our inclusive community has introduced us to friends we will cherish for life. Today, I stand before accomplished student athletes like Sophia Alexander, who represented St. Mary's at the nationally coveted Arcadia Invitational and will continue to show what St. Mary's student athletes are really capable of when she joins the UCLA track and field team this coming fall. And brilliant coders like Alex Cronin, who pioneered the St. Mary's robotics team competing at regional competitions. And talented dancers like Audrey Ward, who embodies her experience, passion, and individuality in her beautiful choreography. Some of us are adept at balancing net ionic equations, while others are proficient at picking up a melody at the snap of a finger. From watercolor painting to grilling for classmates, participating in dissection club or jazz band, our work ethic sparks joy in those we serve and uplifts our community. We recognize and appreciate that we could not have become who we are today without the teachers, family, and friends who make our journeys possible. We are humbled by your great sacrifices and endless support. Teachers at St. Mary's are among the most compassionate and giving people. One teacher in particular who has touched the lives of many students over the years is Dr. Mullane. <laughs> who retires this year after 20 years of service to St. Mary's. Thank you for the knowledge and love that you have imparted to us all. The St. Mary's community will miss you dearly. We also cherish the memory of Ms. Gravis, who sparked a light in artists, scientists, divers, and travelers throughout her time at St. Mary's. We remember your great passion. When I was in elementary school, my parents would take me to Oakland's Chinatown every so often. I would become engrossed looking through the windows and getting an eyeful of things that I would never be able to see at my local Safeway. We would go to Taoyuan Bakery and I would pick out all of my favorite pastries, always a few egg tarts. One unique feature of Oakland's Chinatown that I noticed is that all of the eateries are small and specialized. There are noodle restaurants and dim sum restaurants, restaurants famous for roast duck and others known for stir fry seafood. These restaurants hone in on one or two particular dishes and prepare them beautifully. Like these restaurants, we do not need to be good at everything to contribute with purpose. Pursue the things about which you are passionate the things which give you the most joy. Rejoice in your gifts and what you do well, and embody them to enrich not only your own experiences, but the experiences of every single person that you will come across. Class of 2019, today marks the culmination of our 1,376 days as Panthers. Our graduation is a testament not only to our own ambition and drive, but to the unconditional love and support that we have received during the past four years from this entire community. We leave St. Mary's with the responsibility to give, with humility, each in our own ways, from what the St. Mary's experience has given to us. Today, we graduate ready to blend our talents to nurture and nourish the world. So congratulations, St. Mary's class of 2019. Thank you so much, Jenny.
continue the celebration by recognizing outstanding academic achievement by the members of the class of 2019. Now, those students who are graduating cum laude, which means with praise for having achieved an overall academic grade point average of 3.20 to 3.49 and wearing a white tassel, please stand. Graduates. Congratulations, graduates, cum laude, please be seated. Those students who have graduated magna cum laude, which means with great praise, for having achieved an overall academic grade point average between 3.50 and 3.74, and these folks are wearing gold tassels, please stand, gold tassels. Congratulations, Magna Cum Laude, please be seated. And those students who are graduating Summa Cum Laude, which means with highest praise, for having achieved an overall academic grade point average of between 3.75 and 4.0 and above, and those folks are wearing gold tassels and gold cords, please, Summa Cum Laude, please stand. Congratulations, summa cum laude, please be seated. On Monday, June 3rd, the St. Mary's community honored the class of 2019 at our traditional senior presentation. At that ceremony, the following honors and awards were given. We asked the graduates to stand as a group as the honors and awards are mentioned. Families and guests, you may refer to your programs for the names of each individual student at this time. Those graduates who were recognized as California Scholarship Federation Lifetime Members, CSF, and National Honor Society Members, NHS, please stand. CSF members are wearing a pin and NHS members are wearing a gold stole. Please stand. Congratulations and be seated. Those graduates who were recognized for their exceptional work on their senior project, please stand. These students are wearing red cords. Please stand, senior project. Thank you. Be seated. Those graduates who were recognized for the year-long commitment to our ongoing mission-related projects with the President's Office, please stand. These students are wearing the St. John Baptist de La Salle pin. Please stand, mission-related projects. Thank you, be seated. Those graduates who received a certificate for a St. John Baptist de La Salle Award for Academics and or a plaque for a St. Mary's Talent and Service Award, please stand right now. Please stand. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Please be seated. Each year, St. Mary's College High School presents special awards to those graduates who have demonstrated outstanding academic achievement in various academic disciplines. Graduates, please come forward when your name is called. The Pablo Picasso Award for Visual Arts, named in honor of the complex and creative artist, is presented to the graduate who has excelled in the area of visual arts. This year's recipient is Sophia Rose Cruz.
the Paul Robeson Award for Performing Arts, named in honor of the versatile performing artist and social idealist, is presented to the graduate who has excelled in dramatic performances. This year's recipients are Jaira Falcone and Kevin, and Kevin Diego Pena. Brother Alfred Rousseau FSC Award for Mathematics, named in honor of the renowned mathematician and physicist, is presented to the graduate who has demonstrated both exceptional insight and outstanding mathematical competence. This year's recipient is Max Emerling. Max, 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 come here a minute, come here a minute. Now Max, I want you to stand right there by that flower. So just, just stand, just stand, oh stand, big surprises. Hold on, ready, you ready for it? The Dante Alighieri Award for World Languages, named in honor of the eminent medieval Italian poet, is presented to the graduate who has excelled in the study of language other than English. This year's recipient for French is Max Emerly. Okay, Max. And this year's recipient for Spanish, Paula Tejeda Gonzalez. The John Henry Cardinal Newman Award for English, named in honor of the esteemed theologian and literary scholar, is presented to the graduate who has excelled in the study of literature and the communication of the written word. This year's recipient is Samantha Ulloa. The Eleanor Roosevelt Award for Social Science is named in honor of one of our nation's great first ladies who de dedicated her life to achieving human rights and social justice for all peoples. The award is presented to the graduate whose work in social science has been exceptional. This year's recipient is Lydia Storella. The De La Salle Award for Religious Studies, named in honor of the founder of the Brothers of the Christian Schools and patron saint of all teachers, is awarded to the graduate who has demonstrated not only reverence for God, but also an understanding and an appreciation of contemporary religious issues. This year's recipient is Corinne Mashi. The Galileo Galilei Award for Science, named in honor of the Italian physicist and astronomer, 
is presented to the graduate who has excelled in the area of laboratory science. This year's recipient is Max Emerling. Max, Max, Max. Now I realize it. Am I embarrassing you yet? Not yet. No, just a little bit. Wait, you're gonna, you'll have some company in a minute. The final academic award given today is the General Academic Excellence Award. This is presented to the graduate or graduates who have achieved the highest grade point average over the four years of high school career. This year, there are three receiving this honor. Max Emerling, Flynn Cooper, and Natalie Ward. Final awards are presented to the graduates who most embody the Catholic and Lasallian heritage and tradition of St. Mary's College High School. The Dave Urban Award for Faith is presented to the graduate who best models the gift and virtue of faith and of living with gospel values. Named after the Second Vatican Council document called Word of God, the Divine Revelation, this student celebrates the LaSallean core principle of faith in the presence of God and quality education through his or her activities this year. And this year's recipient is Nayeli Sanchez. <laughs> The Gaudium et Spes Award is presented to the graduate who best demonstrates Jesus' call to serve others. Named after the Second Vatican Council document called Joy and Hope, Church in the Modern World, this student celebrates the Lasallian core principles through his or her exemplary service to and love for our St. Mary's community. This year's recipient is Nia Gethers Williams. The Lumen Gentium Award for Community is presented to the graduate who has performed outstanding work in building a true Christian community at St. Mary's by promoting each student's universal call to holiness. Named after the Second Vatican Council document called Light of the Nations, this student celebrates in particular the Lasallian core principles of respect for all persons and inclusive community through all his or her endeavors. This year's recipient is Miss Jasmine Newsom. At this time, Dr. Imperial and Mr. Puck will confer diplomas to the graduates. Now everybody, everybody, remember what I was telling you earlier? This is it. So remember that person in front, behind, or alongside of you. I understand it.
but uh, we've got to make sure that everyone hears that name. This is the chance. The graduates of the class of 2019, please come forward. Jack Adamson. Sophia Alexander. Jalen Allen. Kaylee Anderson. Jonathan Jack Austin. Avinash Baines. Daniel Borba. Barba. Ella Bartlett. Madison Bevilacqua. Shini Vista. William Levins. Stavros Boutris. Aya Brantley. Lucille Brittal. Phoebe Brock Dulles. William Akees Bryant III. Nicholas Buckwalter. Ruby Buckwalter. Demetrio Camarillo. told to slow down the photo lines too long. <laughs> Shall I do more Henny Youngman? Okay. Where'd we leave up? Oh, Dimitri. Yeah. Marcelino Campos. <laughs> Taj Castaneda. <laughs> Alex Catalan. Alexis, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Alexis Catalan. Avenida Cayetano. Angeli Checa. Sophie Klein. Cameron Clyde. Leave Column. Flynn Cooper. Margaret Krogan. Alex Cronin. Parker Crossman. Sophia Rose Cruz. Madeline Daganza. Ethan Davis. Thomas De La Viaga. Amelia DeAndreas.
Max Emerly. Aliyah Erskine. Dominic Fideli. Jaira Falcone. Kobe Fan. Simone Fernandez. Joseph Fall. Carlos Garcia. Malena Gardner. Nicholas Gaspardone. Austin Gath. Nia Gethers Williams. Oliver Geiler Ingham. Andrew Geist. Zoe Goodman. Olivia Green. Ada Hailey. <laughs> Noah Hatovic. <laughs> Mitchell Heckman. <laughs> Lauren Hemp. Ari Henry. Joseph Herbert. Alves Emilio Heredia. Reina Heredia. Diego Herrera. Joseph Hickling. Natalia Hoffman. Julian Holdenreed. Maya Holmes. <laughs> Isabel Holm. <laughs> Julia Horner Bell. <laughs> Julian Ishi Lusk. Angela Jason. Josiah Jacobs. Ready? 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 
Alazi Jalo Granberry. Khalil Jefferson. Cassandra Jimenez. Harlan Johnson. Trenton Johnson. Eyal Kareem. Kate Kuliwi. Kurt Landers, Jr. <laughs> Nicholas Loxman. <laughs> Janelle Lee. Jenny Lee. Matthew Leafland. Francesca Levitt. Candace Lewis. Alexander Liesky. Demiri Lindo. Nolan Loho. Charles Longenecker. Laura Lopez Guandique. <laughs> Nicholas Lozica. <laughs> Victoria Lyons. <laughs> Corin Mashi. Megan Mariano. <laughs> Catherine McCormick. <laughs> Reginald McKinley, Jr. Lucas Mendoza. Calloway Miller. Elena Mirolio. Terilyn Mitchell. Antoine Morales. Jameson Morin. Arlen 
All right, the line's long. A heavy young man. So a little old Jewish lady's walking down the street. <laughs> little old Jewish grandmother, sweet. And a guy walks up to her and said, lady, lady, I haven't eaten in two weeks. She takes his hand and said, try. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's not enough heavy young men to get that line down. Lady called up the doctor. Lady called up the doctor. She said, the, oh no, the doctor called up the lady. That's right. The lady the doctor probably says, Mrs. Miller, your check came back. She said, so did my arthritis. <laughs> oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Um, I don't even know where I left off. Who's the last one? Jameson, right? Is Jameson you the end of it? All right, James. You ready? Okay, that's good. <laughs> Isabel Moss. <laughs> Brianna Moya. Maya Munson. Jasmine Newson. Ifa Nikki Ali. Zachi Nachi. Did I get it right? Thank you. <laughs> Sophia Nebe. <laughs> Marcus Ochoa. Rivka Orgazala. Marlene Orijero. Jarek Pahati. Valeria Hanameno. <laughs> Lillian Hatchell. <laughs> Kevin Diego Pena. Edward Peterman. <laughs> Kalina Phillips. <laughs> Zosha Parat. Luna Rago. <laughs> Samuel Reed. <laughs> Eric Regan. Violet Rice.
Gabriela Rincon. Josiah Robinson. Matthew Rosenberg. Haley Ross. Sage Ross. Finn Rudy. <laughs> Nayeli Sanchez. <laughs> Sophia Saar. Margaret Scheuer. <laughs> Daniel Schleser. <laughs> Ethan Schnetz. <laughs> Ava Shannon. Alexander Shearer. <laughs> Eamon Sheris Watt. <laughs> Camille Simmons. Naila Smith Woods. Nikita Solomon. Enzo Spremich. Sierra Stallworth. Vincent Stockton. Lydia Storella. <laughs> Jeremy Tang. <laughs> Paula Tejeda Gonzalez. Kendall Timmons. <laughs> Julian Tran. <laughs> Gabrielle Trevino. Adeline Trotter. Yeah. 
Eliana Tucker. Samantha Uyoa. Isabella Ouch. Ujirogine Wasema. Nicholas Venus. Anya Van Noord. Audrey Ward. Natalie Ward. <laughs> Isabel Watson. <laughs> Blake White. <laughs> Fela. Williams. <laughs> Lindsay Wong. <laughs> Jonathan York. Gavin Zirkel. Thank you, Mr. Puck, Dr. Imperial, Mrs. Molinelli. I was told there are more people taking their pictures. So a guy walks into a psychiatrist. And he sits down. And the psychiatrist said, you're crazy. The guy said, I want a second opinion. He said, OK, you're ugly, too. <laughs> I want it's the best I can do. I want to rehearse this stuff. On behalf, on behalf of the St. Mary's College, on behalf of St. Mary's College High School, I present to you the graduates from the class of 2019. <laughs> graduates, graduates, please stand. And turn your tassels to the other side. Right now, before we close the ceremony, uh, a little announcement here. We want to make sure all family and guests remain in their seats. The graduates will leave very shortly, not just yet, but as soon as they leave, you stay in your seats until all the graduates have left the theater, and then they will meet their families and friends outside in the plaza. Now, to conclude this ceremony, I would like to invite right now all the alumni of St. Mary's College High School present today come forward. Get up out of those seats. If you want to come down, if you're up there in the third balcony and you want to come down, you should come on down. Second balcony, come on down. 
alumni, all the alumni from St. Mary's College High School, any year. And as they're coming down, you're going to find on the back of your programs, right in the back of your programs here, are the lyrics to the alma mater, to the bells of St. Mary's. That's what all these proud alums with our now new group of alums are going to do. We are going to sing the bells. Anybody still coming down? I don't want to miss anybody. Here they come. Just gather right down there in front of the stage. That's it. I see some former students. And those of you in your seats who aren't alums, it doesn't matter, you can sing right along right here in your handy dandy program right on the back. How you doing up there in the nosebleed section, okay? And if we're all ready, if you're ready, the bell. Thank you, alums. You can go right back to your seats. Thank you very, very much. That's, that's what we call strength in numbers. So now, alumni, if you take your seats and everybody out there, guests, honored guests, families, how wonderful it was, as I said, to meet so many of you. And I hope to see you again even those guys up there and gals up there. And now we'd like to begin the recessional from this ceremony. Congratulations, graduates. The ceremony, the recessional will now begin.
Thanks and good night, everybody.